getting more details here. Runners have been here into the area. We're also heading into the same direction where we're going. Find out matter of interest from the damn drive vector if they haven't seen this buffalo from early in the morning here. The child's coming. I'm here three hours that look like there was in Makkumi Shambi in Yati. Is there anyone who got in Shambi early in the morning? direction where they headed. It looked like they went into our neighbor farm here. Which will be no longer. Look at that. Yes. I spotted that from a distance and I thought maybe oh, something. Looked like they headed all of them. The breeding had headed into south, which we don't have a rights on that farm where they headed. But we have a right to look at this buffalo here. So let us try to do this. Yes, look at this one here. Uh, judge. Isn't it? No, judge. Judge. Yeah. Sorry. Look at this. So the rest of the buffalo look like they headed into southwest and cross one of our our main cut line into our neighbor farm, which we weren't able to follow them from our other side. We don't have a right to go to the other side. But right here we have a right to enjoy this buffalo here sitting into, I mean, in the mud as I mentioned earlier before is all this animal that doesn't have color because they have a problem when they walk into the woodland like this in this kind of weather they don't have strap that they can reflect from the sun and it helps on the blood on the, I mean the blood circulation of the animal itself if it has colors so now buffalo doesn't have color at all so it doesn't have, they don't have to reflect on the sun, so they have to come into the water. The way they cool themselves is to find the mud, a water like this, and sit inside the, mud, inside the water or mud. Then it helps to cool the body. The blood circulation now is flowing nicely because the animal itself, it, have, it, has, it having something that will cool the blood. So they enjoy water and the mud. one of our main character judge it's been long for us we haven't get to see him around in the area into the area today we are unlucky spotting him here is something that I was looking for three weeks four weeks back before and yes it's here most of the time in the language of uh, nature conservationists we call buffalo dagger boys the reason why we call them dagger boys as I explained from the beginning the animal doesn't have uh, reflection
colors to reflect on the sun. They like to wallow in the mud. So we call them dagger boys. Daggers meet ma mud, boys meet boy, a female. And these come from the constructions that's building into the areas, brick layer and the assistance. The guy that makes mud, it called dagger boy. But also the buffalo because it's really all the time it looked like it's mixing mud. It's been given the name Dagger Boy because of that way. A man's bull hair with nice horn. Driving all the way to the back. As you can see two of them here. A little bit background of them why all melts together is two here. And the rest of the uh, uh, had is aware they don't want to be mixing themselves with the had it's because of these guys are getting old knees are very slow and heavy so they don't they don't have energy to keep with the metric society with boys and females because they're really they're still strong new blood you know even from us you've been beat you can see children playing the whole day, kicking around, running around, as we are the adult, we weren't able to do that because we don't have that energy. Same as buffalo, they lose energy when they get to the certain age, and they lose a lot of interest. So they separate themselves from the females and do their own thing because of that problem of losing power. Located two Daga boys on Chibam Road, Lalapanzo, and Mati.